Welcome to a guided meditation designed to help you uncover the limiting beliefs that are currently holding you back. Make sure you put some headphones in, you sit or lie down, and we'll begin. Start by closing your eyes and just taking a deep breath into your nose. And on the exhale, allow your shoulders to drop and relax away from your ears. Allow your face to soften, jaw to relax. Allow your tongue to fall from the roof of your mouth. On the next exhale, allow yourself to relax even more into this present moment, letting go of everything else going on in your life, everything that was going on before you started this meditation, everything that will inevitably go on after this meditation, and allow yourself the gift of the present moment as you continue to ground down deeper and deeper into the now. Throughout this meditation, continue to take deep, slow breaths. As you feel your breath come in, allow your stomach to rise. And as you exhale, allow your stomach to fall. Nice and slow and easy. I want you to start by feeling the top of your head beginning to relax. Imagine this soothing, relaxing energy is flowing over the top of your head. Maybe it has soothing colors like blues and greens. And experience that every exhale brings you into a deeper state of relaxation for that body part. So exhale, feel your head relax down through the back of your head, the size of your head, your face, all the way down through your neck, down through your shoulders, down through your arms, down through your back and your chest, down through your stomach. Allow that relaxing energy to flow all the way down through your hips, through your upper legs, lower legs, feet and toes. And breathe in deeply. Exhale, let all that tension go. And so what we're doing here is we're going beyond the conscious barrier. The more relaxed we get, the more we're able to access your subconscious, which holds on to the beliefs that work as pieces of code in your subconscious mind, either propelling you towards what you want or holding you back from it. I'd like you to view this exercise very matter-of-factly. Understand that there is nothing wrong with you. Instead, there's just blockages in your subconscious field that's currently holding you back from getting what you want, from doing what you want, because belief precedes behavior. So right now, I want you to think about an outcome you desire in your life. Maybe it's a job you want. Maybe it's a relationship you want. Maybe it's a certain income you want. Maybe it's a physical body outcome you want. Or maybe it's just peace of mind. And now I want you to feel in to having this outcome as if it was true, it was present in your reality right now. And I want you to notice what behaviors were required to get you here to create this outcome? And now you're going to take all your attention out of your head, away from thinking, out of rational thought, because that's all conscious mind. And I want you to feel deeper into your body, down into your chest, your upper and lower stomach. And I want you to feel deeper into that lower body, Anywhere from your neck, down through your chest, through your stomach, all the way down through your reproductive organs. And I want you to feel the negative emotion that comes up when you start to think about taking the action necessary to get to that outcome. Or maybe it's just a negative emotion 
that comes up and feels like, I can't do it, I don't know enough, I don't have enough, I'm not good enough. Any of those feelings that feel like roadblocks to getting to that outcome or participating in that behavior. Go ahead and feel into your body. And there's no right or wrong way to do this. Just without thinking, feel and notice. Does the feeling that comes up, whether it's sadness, anxiety, stress, worry, whatever it is, it feels like a block. Can we locate it in your physical body? And if we can, I want you to place a keyhole there, like you're going to stick a key in. Oftentimes, if we're worried about something, we feel it in our upper stomach. If we're worried about having our heart broken, we feel it in the chest. If we're worried about losing control, we might feel it in the lower stomach. So just feel where that resistance is and place that keyhole. Now, once you've placed it, I want you to jump and dive down into this keyhole. And I want all those feelings to become overwhelming. Go into them. Usually we run away from them. I want you to go into them all the way. Let those negative emotions flow and flow and flow and flow. And as you feel the emotion, as it gets stronger and stronger, I want you to ask yourself, what am I believing to be true that would make me feel this way right now? What am I believing to be true about this outcome and this behavior I want to participate in that would make me feel this negative emotion right now? So feel deeper into the body. Feel deep, deep, deep into it. And try to identify what are you believing to be true that makes you feel this negative emotion? Whether it's lack of confidence, low self-esteem, worry, regret, whatever it is, uncertainty, feel it. And then ask yourself, what am I believing to be true that would make me feel this way? When thinking about participating in this behavior, this habit, or when thinking about creating the outcome you desire. And so what should come up is, I believe, and a phrase or sentence after that. So see what's present for you. Sometimes when people want to get in physical shape, they might find anxiety come up when they think about it, and they might find that they believe that they don't have enough time. So that belief is, I believe I don't have enough time to work out. Or some people, they try to hit income goals and they find they believe they're not smart enough to make lots of money. Or maybe they believe that rich people are assholes. And so they don't want to be rich subconsciously, not consciously, of course. So uncover right now what you believe to be true. And I want you to visualize this timeline for your life stretching from left to right. Everything on the left is in the past. Everything to the right is in the future. Everything right in front of you are your present beliefs. And so I want you to fully accept this belief you've uncovered. Full acceptance. Stop fighting it. Stop resisting it. The only way we let it go is we have to accept it. Once it's accepted, it can be changed. It can be released. Once you've gotten yourself to a place of acceptance, like, all right, forget it. It's true. Okay, fine. I accept it. I want you to experience it in the timeline of your life right in front of you, like a dark cloud looming over you, all those negative emotions wrapped up into it, all those past negative experiences, all the feelings of, I can't do this. I can't have this. And I want you to breathe in deeply through your nose. 
And as you exhale, I want you to imagine a powerful breeze. The wind moves from right to left in your timeline, picking up that belief that's holding you back. And it's moving it to the left, to the left, to the left, to the left. It's moving that cloud to the left, to the left. And now it's in the past. And I want you to look back into the past and I want you to see that old cloud, that limiting belief, loses all of its color, all of its emotion, becomes translucent. I want you to see yourself grounding deeper into the present, deeper into the present, like a tree rooting down into the ground. And so since you're in the present, the old way of being is in the past. So look back to the left and I want you to see that old way of being, that cloud goes farther and farther and farther into the past until you have to squint to see it. It's like looking at a truck really far away on a highway and now it's gone. You can't even see it anymore. And I want you to bring yourself back into the present moment, into the spaciousness of the now. And feel this empty space right in front of you. And I want to ask you, what is the opposite belief that you were holding before? So if you're believing you don't have enough time to work out, the opposite belief is I have more than enough time to work out. If you're believing I'm not smart enough to make lots of money, the new belief is I'm more than knowledgeable enough to make lots of money. So I want you to identify what is the opposite belief. And once you have, I want you to say it out loud. And then I want you to breathe it in deeply through your nose. Exhale and feel this new belief integrate into your body, into your identity through every cell inside and out from head all the way down to your toes. Let it be true. Let your body accept this. And now watch this new belief take form in your timeline right in front of you where that old belief used to live, this one grows big and bold and powerful. And now is associated with beautiful emotion, feelings, colors, and feel yourself completely immersed in the aura of this new energy you're now embodying. Breathing in deeply and exhale down through your body. Allow this to be true for you. Allow yourself to shift into this new identity and watch yourself being held in this aura that's now in your timeline and now programmed into every strand of DNA in your body. This is who you are. And now one by one, I want you to continue to find these negative beliefs that have been holding you back and complete this process as many times as you need to for as many areas of your life that you feel like you're being held back in. And if you'd like more guided support with this, you can reach out to me personally. We have programs designed to guide you all the way through this process, step by step. Just go to theowned.industries forward slash seven day reset. And you'll begin the journey with me if you feel called to. Otherwise, use this meditation to remove the blocks, to continue to uncover them, to continue to see what is unconscious and bring it to the conscious level so it's no longer holding you back and instead you can reclaim this energy to move you forward. Because everything you need is already inside of you right now. We just have to continue to remove any of these blockages so you can flow with your energy, allowing the universal energy to flow through you so you can direct it with your focus and your choices. I hope this is a meaningful session for you. Feel free to let me know how it went, and I can't wait to guide you on the next experience. <laughs>